Hello everybody, welcome to another BNA Studios After Effects tutorial. Today we are going to be making, as you have probably guessed from the title, a fiery text. Now instead of using test footage for this, what we're going to be doing is creating it on our computer straight from After Effects without any plugins, no trap code, no fiery plugins. Okay, this is all in After Effects. You will have it. You will have what I use guaranteed. So let's look at the basics of what we're going to be making today. So the first thing that you guys are going to want to do is make a new project. All right, so you go to new, new project. So after you create a new project, what you're going to want to do is create a new composition. So composition, new composition, and basically without a composition, you don't have your film. So make a composition. We will call this composition fiery text, uh, bonus points for creativity. Make sure everything looks good. Uh, instead of two minutes, we'll go ahead and make that 10 seconds because two minute intro, I mean, no. So go ahead and click on your text tool and then click on your composition and type something. Uh, for me, I'm just going to be typing nuclear blades because that's just a film that I uh, just finished up. Uh, so yeah, go ahead and pick whatever font you want and we're done with that. So you're probably wondering, what the heck, man? It's just text. Well, we have a long way to go, as you can tell by the time code of this video on YouTube. So what we're going to want to do is pre-comp this. Right click. Precompose. You can also do Control Shift C if you want, and just label this text. Move all attributes is fine. Hit OK. So after that, what we're gonna want to do is create some fractal noise. So right click, new solid, uh, and go ahead and make this white. Just go ahead and name it fiery texture. So now that we got that, you're gonna want to search in fractal noise. Drag that to your fiery texture. So you're probably thinking right now, what the heck, Brandon? This is not what I wanted. I'm unsubscribing and I'm, I don't want to watch you anymore. To which I say, wait, do not go. This is what we're using. This is going to look great. So just bear with me here. Visual effects is all about depth. It's making 2D layers seem 3D. It's making things look realistic because nothing is 2D in real life, okay? So we're just going to add three layers, one small one in the background, one big one, and one that kind of looks like an energy kind of texture. And then what we're going to want to do is make this dynamic. And this will just give it this, as you can see, fiery texture. Our first layer we're going to want to do is scale this up. There you go. So what you're going to want to do is mess with the brightness and contrast just a little bit till you get a little bit of a darker and you're losing some uh, complexity, but not a lot. Also go down to sub settings and mess with rotation. This will just give it more of a fiery kind of look to it. Then go ahead and select your texture and command or control D it to duplicate it. Mess with the brightness and the complexity just a little bit. And also what you're going to want to do is mess with the rotation a lot more so it looks more like fire. That's good. Then control D that layer. And for this one, we want it to look like an energy. So we're going to go to scaling. We're going to scale it up just a little bit more. And we're also going to go to complexity and make that higher. Push F4, or you can hit this toggle switches, and then turn these to screen. This will help it all go together. Screen. All right, so what you're going to want to do is select the bottom one, and then shift click the top one, and then right click, and then pre compose, and we'll call this fiery texture again. <laughs> so, first of all, what? Where is it? Well, make it screen, okay? Now that we have that done, let's go ahead and move that to the bottom. Okay, so what you want to do next is mask this to the text. Now, if that's not there, it's because you're on that. You could either click F4 again or switch modes, switch toggle switches. Okay, and then you're going to go to Luma Matte Text. This will basically just put it to your text. Who would have thought? It's not moving like the fire. <laughs> Where is it? Double click fiery texture and we're going to want to animate each layer so that it moves and it actually looks like it's lava or has some kind of movement going through it. So click the bottom fiery texture and then go to evolution and alt or option. Click the time watch. Type in time times 100. And as you can see, that actually added an animation to one of our fractal noises. So we're going to go ahead and do that to the rest of them. 
Click the middle fiery texture, go to evolution, alter option, click it, and do time times uh, 150. And then do the same thing for the top fiery texture, except make it time times uh, 175. And now, as we can see, it's moving. What? So now we need to make the fire. So right click, new, solid again, and we'll name it fire. We're going to add fractal noise again. Let's uh, pre-comp this, though. Control shift C, or command. Move all attributes. And we'll call this flame. There you go. And double click this to open it. All right, so this is basically gonna be our fire. So what we're gonna wanna do is, of course, make it look like energy or fire. So this time, click Dynamic Progressive. This just gives it more of a fiery look. What we're gonna wanna do is scale this up. That's good. We're gonna want to mess with the contrast and brightness. And go to Complexity and move that up and then rotate. Uh, again, it's all click evolution, and I don't know, make this time times one. Yeah, we'll go 200. Oops. All right, that's good. So what we're going to want to do is go to transform, and then offset turbulence. Okay, so that's going to move it up and down. So what you're going to want to do is click the stopwatch. That'll make a keyframe, move your playhead all the way to the end, and then move the Y position to the left. This will make it move up. You can always uh, render it to see if it's too slow, too fast, and readjust it. The next thing that we're going to want to do is add a little bit of turbulent displacement uh, without the mint, and then drag that onto your solid. And then you're going to want to Alt or Option click the evolution on turbulent displace and do time times 100. That'll make give it that heat look. All right, so basically this gives it more of a fiery look. As you can see, it has like a little bit of torch kind of uh, heat look to it, which is what we want, All right? And another little trick, do effect, blur and sharpen, unmask sharpen, and that will just basically make it more sharpened, which is what we want. Uh, so go ahead and crank the threshold up and you should be good. All right, so that's looking fantastic. Let's go to our regular composition and make flame a screen blend. And you could leave it like this, but we actually want it coming from the letters. So what we're gonna do is we're going to double click this ellipse tool right here, and it's gonna make a mask according to the composition size. Click F for feather and increase that probably around 300 area. And then hit MM and then bring down the uh, expansion down a little bit, maybe increase the feather and we're good. So you could click mask one to bring up the mask or you just click, click this little symbol right here and that'll bring up your mask. And so move the bottom one up and then we could reposition it. Maybe put that up a little bit more. Go to your move tool by pushing V or just by clicking the move tool and then move these little uh, blue boxes down by holding shift. Uh, that'll hold it to scale. So what we're gonna wanna do is go back to your flame. I'm sorry, you should have done this before. Is composition settings, but it's easy, it's easy to fix. Composition settings and then make this probably around two minutes just so you two two minutes and ten seconds that's fine and basically what this will do is just make it to where you can add or subtract however many you want in our uh, regular time composition and it won't end basically now fire does not look like that at all what i know it's pretty crazy all right so just so we can, I don't know, feel inspired by fire, what we're going to want to do is right click new adjustment layer and go to curves. Oops, no, there's not an eight in curves. Drag that to the adjustment layer. And what we're going to want to do is try to make fire. So turn up the red. Hmm. Hmm. I'd say there's about fine. Go down to blue, turn that down. Uh, I would say right there is fine. And then go to green and make a little bit of contrast. Uh, turn it down. Mm.
That's great right there, almost. Almost great. Not quite. I would say that's fantastic. All right, so we can go to RGB, and this will just make it brighter or darker. I'd say it probably a little bit brighter. That's looking fantastic. Okay, so then we're going to want to go back to the effects and type in glow. Drop in glow to the adjustment layer. And that's about it. Just kidding. Uh, increase the radius. Glow threshold. Make it less. Probably like right there. A little bit less of a radius. That's fan freaking tastic. So now that we're inspired by fire colors and all this stuff, what we're going to want to do is make a whole bunch of layers. So Command D, your flame, and then drag it over to this one. And fire, this is like looking the same, you know? It's, this, it's looking the same. Nobody's going to want to watch this. Actually, what we'll do is put these below the text. And this is when I put my resolution quality at half uh, because you guys, it's just too crazy for my PC and recording at the same time. So you're welcome. I'm sacrificing for you. So pretty much just duplicate your layers and change which time they begin and end and start and everything. Change the opacities. Um, and basically what will this, this will do is make a depth, uh, which is really important in visual effects uh, and anything really. Uh, to make it look realistic. Uh, so go ahead and do that with yours. You can make small ones, big ones, whatever you want to do. Just kind of make a realistic flame by changing the different time codes because we don't want it to all look similar. All right, guys, so this is what I got. Now, some some of these flames aren't really looking realistic, uh, and that's because, well, it's like 12 o'clock at night right now, and so, you know, I'm not going to try my hardest right now. Plus, I already did the effect, so... With yours, you should probably be trying hard if you are using this for a legit thing. Now you're probably thinking that this text is really hard to read, and we're going to fix that right now. That's so what we're going to want to do is go to our text, duplicate that. It's okay, it's not seen, and then go to this text that we just duplicated, and control click Fiery Texture, and Command Shift Z to pre-compose, and we'll call this Lava Text. Move all attributes, and that's fantastic we move that below and we see it all right so this will give nuclear blazed a little bit more of an edge which is what we want so make sure you're on your text layer and move that up and basically this will make it kind of look a little bit 3d-ish but also give it an edge glow so it's easier to read all right guys we are done with this tutorial um if you guys want to know how to make a sun you could always check andrew kramer's tutorial uh he made a sun basically i just took his concept of what he did there and just applied it to text because i needed to do this for uh this guy named ben's film and so yeah if you guys just want to know how to do that sun it's pretty much the same thing except a little bit different uh so go ahead and check that video out it's in the description and thank you to andrew kramer for making that tutorial uh it helped me finish a project so thank you all right guys until next time keep on editing